Um, good morning, everyone. So, I have heard and read so many things in the last few days. And I don't wish, I don't wish um, anybody should go through what I'm going. Some years ago, um, I had challenges with my marriage and I lost the baby. So, um, some parents in my area um, out of compassion allowed their children to stay with me so that I will not feel lonely you know there were six of them three boys and three girls now Baba Jesha had challenges and he came to me for help so I tried my best I even I also I registered him in a lesson. I he sat for GC and then I tried to get him into Unilag. In fact, he was enrolled. <clears throat> so he came that day. He needed more help, and I was not going out. So I asked the children because uh, three of them are boys. There's a place down my street where they play. And the uh, two small ones wanted to follow them. So my auntie had come to visit me and he was there. <coughs> he was there. So when she was leaving, I had to go downstairs to lock the gate after her. I didn't know what happened. In the space of three to four minutes but the following week the school called me at a school and see my children what happened they said the the girl sat on the brother's leg and was maybe you know doing her waist somehow they called me they called the uh, parents of the children as well those the parents of the children are strict born again christians me, I don't allow them to watch cartoons. If the cartoon that they watch, I must watch it with them. But the parents said that maybe it's spiritual. So we started praying. You know? So he warned her not to tell anybody. I think he came back the next day to be sure if she told anybody. Said that he bought food and she should follow him to carry the food in the car for everybody. When she got down, he used his key again and to defile her again after that day that he came. He didn't come to my house again. But anytime he needed help, he would call me. So when I saw the news, people are saying that he has been, you know, molesting her for seven years. They were saying so many things. Why? Fine, he defiled her, he assaulted her, and we just found out. But he never came to our house again. He was dodging me. So when he needed my help, I now called him that, ah, Larry, you need my help. Oh, the joke was silly. I'm, I'm not feeling fine. I, my wedding just ended. I don't have money. Why, see? Why to she me mama? He now said that he's sorry, he should him. So I went. But I noticed that he was avoiding me. I didn't even know why. Then the child started failing in school. Ha! You know, I would collect, pay for private lesson, everything. And when I told my family, they told me we should pray. Maybe it's spiritual. But the parents of the child said that we should keep praying. They kept the children, they call on me. Those six children in peori in if those children are with me god will answer my prayers okay 
no problem. I kept on saying that something is wrong. This child has changed. You know? Then my family said that don't I have it. We should be fasting. Even the parents were fasting and praying. They will go to read him because they go to read him. They will go, they will bring um, water, they will pray. But after two years, I said, This thing is not spiritual, something is wrong. That's how everybody saw we won't turn tomorrow. If we won't turn tomorrow, why it's machine turn tomorrow? So last year, Shemu, all the children are grown now and they are in boarding house. So last year, one of my friends said that since I don't have a child of my own, I should go and adopt a baby because all the six of them are now in body house. So last year, January, I said, okay, let me go and adopt a, a baby so that I will not be the only one at all. So, but I was like, are we not going to go to the root of this problem? You understand? So, on because of Corona, we couldn't do anything. So, this last month, I said, that, let me go and adopt the baby. Because school is resuming next month. The children are going back to body house. But, maybe we will change her body house again because something is wrong. You know, my friend came here, she was telling me, Princess, you have been saying the same thing for seven years. Yet then tomorrow. And I was telling her, but I never imagined in my life. Because for almost 14 years now, I have been helping children who have been abused and molested. I house them. I, I take care of them. Even women who have domestic violence issues, I house them. I help them. Why? Because my dream in Europe by my jealousy. Some people are not so got here more. Because it's, it's a popular actor. It's a popular actor. Is it bigger than God? Somebody that came to meet me for help. No problem. I don't say, let me call him. My friend, now talk to the child again. That's what is going on. She now told us what happened. I was, I, I was shocked. And I said, okay, let me call Baba Jesha. You know, I went to his page. I wrote Baba Jesha, please check your DM. Because I was trying his number, it was not going. He now sent me a message that Alpha. I said, I want to shoot a movie. He should come. So me and my mom, we said that when he comes there, we we'll sit him down and ask him, is this thing, is it really true? You know, is it really true? So that day we were waiting for him. When he was on his way, I now remembered what my friend had told me. And my sister, they told me that we should be careful. People we want to support Baba Jesha and say that they want to set him up if we don't have evidence. I called CCTV company to come. They came. He said, camera. When they came here, I told them it's a matter of life and death. They said, camera. They said, the camera. We asked everybody in the house to go out and stay in anybody's house. That she was afraid. We said she should calm down because she did not see him again. Since that seven years, she didn't see him until she saw him in a movie that we did together. With one mama like that two years ago, she saw me in that movie and him. She started doing some, even her brothers, they're asking her what, what happened. She couldn't say down because she'd not see him again since that seven years. She didn't see him until she saw him in a movie that we did together. With one mama like that two years ago, she saw me in that movie and him. She started doing some, even her brothers, they're asking her what, what happened. She couldn't say it until she told us. So, they now put the CCTV. He came in. As he came in, he saw that there was nobody at home. I told him that I want to see those 
people. I told he, he asked me who are these people. I said they are DSTV people. I want to see them off. I will, that when I go now, I will stay long. He should relax. He said okay. I I dropped my phone. I said my phone is here. Then I I went out. We locked the door. Two seconds. He start. He stood up. Begin to check my whole house. He check every room to make sure none of the children are sleeping. Kema wopi in your shiburu. Oh wobo boy no lebe. Oh fe wa sure so that he will be sure that no none of the children is inside sleeping. He check the whole house for camera. He check the whole house. Then he started. I can't even begin to relay the things that he did. Arami uba, I was shaking. Because we're monitoring it on the phone. But at the point when she stood up to go to the kitchen, I would know that there is no there is no there is no, there is no camera in the kitchen. The people came in. They called police. Police came immediately. They pick him. I asked him, Larry, kid <laughs> He said he's the devil. That me, I'm his benefactor. But the devil was, the, he was just talking rubbish. So I asked him what happened seven years ago. He told me he was just begging me, begging me. They took him away. Every day, we go to the police station for money two nights. <laughs> and mama will be much in few. <laughs> Some of you are not saying that you post the video of the child that was being molested. Kill him again. What do you want to kill? Even if you hate me, even if you don't like me as a person, how can you? <laughs> Some people were even calling me, trying to threaten me. Why? Why? Omoni ni uluwa, omoni nu deniri, bi ofatri loa la grape lo bodiri. Children are the heritage of God. <laughs> Nobody is allowed to molest them. It's not fair. Please. Move your love, baby. Even if you don't like me. Even if you don't like me. Please. Stop it. Stop saying all the rubbish cutting. The police have started their investigation. He confessed four different times. Kilefer, why do you want to see a child? Why do you need to see a child being molested? Why? 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 Ibrahim will like me. I will be more safe. I will be more safe. more. I will be more safe. If you believe that I'm lying, why don't you wish it on your children or go and see me back and ask him? Why would I want to set somebody up? Somebody that I'm the one helping him? Why? And then Joe, and then Joe, I'm everywhere. I'm not okay. <laughs> but let me tell you, especially those people who he's plotting with, who are trying to see if they can model everything. <laughs> even if I die today, even if I die today, only be happy, Larry. Only be happy. Only be happy. Let her be happy.
Elle est dans mon cabinet. Mon boy, il te va sorry, chéri, chéri. Mais tu es mon côté, mon laisse sorry. Shoot us in. Shoot us in. Look at. Somebody who call herself a rape survivor. Going online to say that he wants CCTV of a child being molested. When you said you were raped, when you came out, did we ask for CCTV before uh, uh, baptizing it? Please, wait, wait, I'm not okay. Please, stop spreading. What you do? No, no. Please, please, don't feel no bad. Even if you hate me, I'm begging you, please. For the sake of God and all these children, how do you want their parents to feel? One formula or boy, call it to me, Nino. Bobo, you know that Bobo will be your bimbo. Go she go see you. This is the way God wants. Why, why, why are you being insensitive? What will I gain? What will I gain? Somebody that has been helping for years. What will I gain? Ah. Uh, Oh, to be honest.